Coming to you live from Southern California, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And now, ready to go? Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. The center fielder, Corbin Carroll. A wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and this one is off and running. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, bro. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two count. Kicks and deals. On the ground. Taylor whips it to first. One out the top of the first. Here's Cattell Marte. Well, when we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. In the air, left field. They got it for out number two. And Jack Peterson stands in. Peterson, 31 years old, and though usually in left field, today he's the designated hitter. That one missed. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. That one a triple digits. One ball, one strike. Two outs. That's in there, and the count is one and two. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Three. And down on strikes, and it's a three up, three down inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium, go, go. and at the plate for the Dodgers, Shohei Otani. The pitch. And there's the ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Aye. One ball, two strikes. Well, that ball one missing in. inside. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. One out, base is empty. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. One down, base is empty. Breaking oh, ball inside. Ball two. And a good eye there. 3 1 now. Hey! I can't lose ball. The punch out there. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Foul ball. Oh, Missed inside with the curb. Oh, Next offering upstairs. Late on that fastball. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. Got it. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And here is Christian Walker. Miller back to work. 
On the ground to third. Taylor has oh. it, throws the first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's That's Lourdes good. Gurriel Jr. Good. 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 Just Inside, missed. Point. Miller, he's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. Lux throws the first in time. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. McCarthy. And a strike in there. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you no want ball. the bases right. to be empty. And that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the base, just shot it through the infield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Brings it in for the third out. Bottom of the second. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Andy Pottis. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. All ones are count. The wind of the pitch. Misses off the play, and that's ball one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Carroll makes the grab, one down. Here's Jason Hayward. And ball one to the right fielder. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. That one fouled off, two and two. And the righty deals. That one a little bit high, and it's a full count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Yeah, there's ball four. Runner on at first with one gone. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. And that one is in for a strike. 0 and 1. Hayward at first, one gone. Takes low for ball one. Oh, Just missed. Up. Righty to the plate. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Carroll calls it in, two away. Chris Taylor down. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Two outs. Now one out to right. McCarthy pulls it in on the run. Here at Chavez Ravine. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. The pitch. That catches the zone for a strike. And it's all one. Wouldn't chase that time. Throw it in, that's a strikeout. Now, Geraldo Perdue.
Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Next pitch is outside. Top of the third, no score. And that one is inside. Inside, almost got him. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. One down, base is empty. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Good catch up to the heater. So the batting order turns over. And now, Corbin Carroll, he's over one. That one in triple digits. Two outs, space is empty. Outside low. Yeah, the count even one and one. On the inside corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Pajes sizes this one up and makes the grab. And that's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in, Kike Hernandez. Right hander back to work. There's a strike at the knees. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. One out. So digging in, Austin Barnes. That one fouled off. The pitch. Into center. Carroll moves towards it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. So the lineup flips over. Here's Shohei Otani. And that's in for a strike. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. And he deals. And misses inside. Swing and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now Jack Peterson. That's ripped to right down the line. And foul ball. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Pitch misses there. One and two to count. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And that's a strikeout looking. Basketball the letters frozen for strike three. And now it's Christian Walker. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Check on the runner, and he's back in on a dive. 
Walker measures six feet even, 33 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2012. That one laced to center and a base hit. Marte around second. He's in there. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel yeah, yeah. any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Such a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Two on, one out. That's in there. And the count is 0 and 2. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball. No. Nope. Just off the outside oh, edge. Right. Yeah. Now 1 and 2. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez snags it on the run. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. Well, we finally have a score in this ball game. Sack fly, nice job of manufacturing a run, and that could end up being a big run at this rate. Pitch in the dirt, and yeah, that's ball one. Walker off of first with two away. Outside. Now two and two. Three, and another three. ball. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. Oscar Hernandez. The line to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. That's down and in. Two strikes. Got him looking. And now one away. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. And that's in there at the knees. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. And that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. Suarez throw to first in time. And Freeman is retired. Andy Pockets steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll moving under it. Balls it in to end the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's going to be Eugenio Suarez. Miller back to work. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Not even close there. It's a ball and two strikes. Would chase that time. And here it comes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. To the right side, Lux. To first, one up, one down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tucker Barnhart. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Two 
Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Just off the outside edge, and it's one and one. Right-hander kicks deals. And another ball. Two one. In the dirt, and that's ball three. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Over one, he struck out swinging last time. That one hit to right. Hayward drifts towards it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Up Back next, to the top line. of the lineup. Digging the in, it's the speedy outfielder, Corbin, Corbin Carroll. Carroll. And Eight. there's the strike. Barnhart, the runner at first with two gone. Eight. Swing and a miss at 100 Eight. miles an hour. That one, one not close, and the count one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs up the middle. They get the force, and that is that. for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. And a pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. One on there. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing out there most of the time. And he can't come up with it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. No outs. Runner at first. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's over one. Ball one, no strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. Right through there for a strike. Good eye in that spot. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. In the air, left side. Guriel has it sized up, and it's caught for the out. Here comes now Chris Taylor. Fly to right his first time. Taylor. Pitch is in there, and that's strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next oh, pitch misses that. inside, and the count is one and one. And another ball. We got two balls, one strike. The 2 1. Headed down the line. And a foul ball. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. This one high in the air to left center. Guriel handles the chance. Two down. Here's Kike Hernandez. On the ground to the left. 
They take the force out, and that is the third out of the inning. Back here at Chavez Ravine, now the number two hitter, Cattell Marte. The pitch. And a foul ball. Next offering misses. And one and one. one, one. That one to first. They get the go. out on Marte. Here's Jack Peterson. He goes over two with a pair of strikeouts. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs, and that's ball two. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. One down, base is empty. Thank you. Well, this is a situation where you have to go after this hitter at the plate. You don't want to deal with the guy on deck, especially with the runner on. And that one hammered back there. And forget it. He made him pay for that one. His 11th of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 2 nothing. Knew that pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. Oh, one. The 0 1. And he blows that one by him at 100. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. Two outs, base is empty. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. the knees next one misses and that is ball one and another ball two ball one strike way out front for strike two two down base is empty but one run across and we're the top half of the sixth just missing there. Full count now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pitch count's getting up there now. And not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. McCarthy in the box now. No balls and a strike. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside. Oh, and a great stop. Over to first. No, to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So first and second with two outs. Eugenio Suarez digs in now. There's a strike. All one for count. Second, McCarthy on at first with two down. Here comes a pitch. And one now ball. one and two. two. Got it. Picks up strikeout number seven. 
These Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game. And it's Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, there goes the dream of the no hitter. Nice line drive to the side, met it out front, but just stood through it nicely and whipped it into the outfield. Joey Otani up to the dish. And a strike on the outside edge. Fall off foul. With the tying run at the plate, here in the bottom of the sixth. One ball, one two. Two with the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through. Oh, a pretty high good. leverage spot right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but that match that was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Hernandez in the box lays off for ball one. There's a strike. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big Number first out. Freddie Freeman up Freddie. to the dish. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play and a good eye there he's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam that's Whoa, off the mark down. and it's 2-0 oh. good spot for the hitter definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch now Freeman drives one deep to right that one's carrying and he one hops the wall one runs in now a second crosses the plate. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the, on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. And a runner at second. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And there's two down. And next for LA, Jason Hayward. Pitch misses, ball one. That clips the corner. I got a ball, one strike. The one one. Right through there for a strike.
Man on second, two down. Popped up. Sizing this one up. And that's the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map, Johan Ramirez. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. And the pitch. Barnhart in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Well, these Diamondbacks need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Geraldo Perdomo. Ramirez measures six feet four inches, 28 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. He was late there, strike one. All tied up here, the top half of inning number seven. That one almost got him. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab. Two down. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. This is Corbin Carroll. First oh, pitch doesn't out. find the zone. Hey. And fires in a fastball at 95. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Two strikes. And another ball. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Well, he missed a hittable off speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Two down, nobody on. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. And that'll do it. Bottom of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth hey. inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Hey. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Oh, Tapped softly on the ground. Marte on the run, sends it oh. over to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Number three. Three. Taylor stands in now and watches strike one. Establishing both ends of the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Seems like he got exactly no, what he was looking for right there. No, no. That's about as textbook yeah. as it gets. Got his stride oh, yeah. out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was oh, in the cage there. hitting off a tee. Hernandez, the next day hit, takes high for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. 
Try your best to get in the scoring position. And that one fouled off. And now two and one. Will nope. chase that time. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Okay. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Perdomo uh. on to first. Two away. Next to hit, Austin Barnes. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. That one found hard the other way. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. No ball, two strikes. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Inning over. Back here in L.A. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Ramirez back to work. There's a strike. Oh, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. That one ripped, but foul. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Next offering misses down and away. That's inside. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And that gets down into the gap. Hernandez quickly throws it in, and that holds the go-ahead run at second base. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Out towards left center, Hernandez settles underneath it, falls it in, and there's one away. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. One for three. Walker. That oh. one off the mark, and it's one to know. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. two. No fight. Man at second. Misses no, with right. the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. That one down the line. Throw on to Freeman. Two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Number Here's Guriel. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. And fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. And a swing to miss. Down on strikes. That's out number three. Back 
now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Justin Martinez he's been so good against lefties back to the top of the Dodgers order now it's a Dodger leadoff here Shohei Otani and downstairs it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases swing and this is ripped down the right field line way back there out of here he powers that one out of here it's 3-2 that slider on the outside part of the plate is typically hit the other way but to be able to get to it pull the baseball and get it up in the air for a home run I'm just really impressed Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Fastball for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And he'll one. And a foul ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Check swing of the 0-2, appeal to first, and Gary Simmons punches him out. That's a strikeout. Freddie Freeman base, steps to the plate five. for the Dodgers. Freddie Freeman. And ball, ball one. No one. The wind of the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count. One and two. Got him. And two away now. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Andy Pajas. And first offering is fouled off. And that's, oh, that's outside. Right-handed reliever. Hit hard on the ground to short. And that will end the inning. Closer, Evan Phillips. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. McCarthy, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Next one just misses. And the count's even at two. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One up, one down. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. One down, base is empty. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The 0-2. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And that puts the tying run on base. Always feels amazing getting a job done oh, when the team done needs done. you to come through. It's just it's bigger than your own individual stats. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. At the play, Tucker Barnhart. And that one is in the dirt. Ball one.
One run game here in the top of the ninth. Pitch misses outside. Now 2 0. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayward under it. Drops into the glove. So it's their last chance in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. There's the strike. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around. Up the middle, and that is the ball game. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come on, the ninth. Crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. 3 2, the final score. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.